what's up guys in this video i will show you complete rpcs free setup and settings to get your grand turismo 6 up and running smoothly first of all if your game is version 1.01 or 1.00 you need to update it to at least 1.02 but never past 1.05 the early version the game had back when it crashed after the race. It was fixed in the 1.02, but on the other hand, in 1.05 introduced many graphical issues and frame rate drops, so it's not advised to update past the version. Personally, I use the Rusty PSN with the guy version. I post the link to the GitHub in the description. You need just the serial of which the game you want updates to download and you can easily extract it from the RPCS3 and paste it to the RSTPS and like that. Copy info, copy serial. Paste it here and search for updates. As you can see download the updates you want i will just download the one uh, 1.02 1.03 and 1.04 that's the version i use when you have the all the files downloaded you go to rpcs3 file install packages wraps edats and we simply point out our downloaded updates uh, in the uh, correct order. And that's all. You got the game to 1.04. That's the best version, in my opinion, of the game. And next up, we will be covering actual configuration. If you don't have this debug tab, in your custom configuration, your APC is free. Change custom configuration, debug tab. You had to enable it. You go to your APC is free install directory. That's APC is free. Go to GUI configs, UI configs, yes, and current settings. Scroll all the way up down and here is meta and here show debug tab. You must change it from false to true. Have it on false like that and you have to change it to true. You save this and restart the RPC is free. Now when you have this debug tab we can change the configuration first of all in the CPU we have to change the SPU decoder to recompiler SAMJYT next SPU block size to mega in the GPU after you set your resolution scale all the way up uh, you want, we need to change anti-aliasing to auto in the advanced tab uh, RSX EVO as a query to atomic if you if the game won't boot uh, with the atomic we revert it back to the fast i seen some configs that will play fine with atomic but some other just won't start with the atomic settings here so we revert it back to fast if you won't be able to boot the game and last of all in the, the big tab we change disable ZQ collision queries 
and for CPU B light emulation. These two must be on. Apply, save, and we start the game. At this time we got stable 60 fps in the mini and somewhat stable 30 fps in the game with occasional dips to 25-23 fps when the game is loading up textures and some other things. As you can see, some dips in the FPS, but when we load up to the game, it will, be, it will be somewhat stable 30 FPS. Displays just fine. No major dips when in the game loading FPS. Only when loading up. So everything is fine. And that is all from me. If you want to have any question, just hit me up in the comments below. Like the video. And if you enjoyed it, the sub. Really happy. See you, everyone.